Hi guys, Dane here, and welcome to another episode of Five Bookish Facts. So today we're going to be looking at five facts about the one and only Isaac Asimov. This was requested by Cupper Books, and it's a great idea. And we haven't done Asimov yet, so I think it's about time, don't you? All right, let's go. Okay, fact number one is that Asimov was a claustrophile, so as you can probably tell from the combination of words, it's somebody who really loves small enclosed spaces. He had this kind of constant desire to be in these kind of spaces. He actually wrote about his desire as a child to own one of the magazine stands in New York where, you know, you're inside the little tiny kiosk. He thought that it would be ideal to kind of ensconce himself in one of those kiosks with a book and he could read his book while while listening to the passing trains. He also usually preferred to write in small windowless rooms. All right, fact number two is that he published multiple volumes of limericks and he thought of himself as a limericist. So most of his limericks were dirty, as a lot of limericks are. I'm gonna read you one because why not? He said that non-dirty limericks lacked flavor like vanilla ice cream or pound cake. So his first volume of limericks published in 1975 was called Lecherous Limericks and here is a limerick for you. A pious young minister's pappy had a sex life diverse, hot and snappy. It shocked his dear son when he had all that fun, but it made girl parishioners happy. Alright, fact number three is that as a child, Asimov's father didn't approve of him reading pulp science fiction novels. So Asimov basically convinced them that because science was one of the words in the genre, they were in some way educational. Okay, fact number four, I'm just gonna have to read this one from the screen because it's long. So in 1974, Paul McCartney approached Asimov with an idea for a movie, having just completed working on the Wings album, Venus and Mars. So McCartney's idea was about a band who discovered they were being impersonated by a group of extraterrestrials. And Asimov thought it was interesting enough to write up a treatment. He called it Five and Five and One, and the story featured parasitic energy beings who crashed on Earth and had to look for suitable hosts to continue their survival. They tried lizards, then cattle, and then decided that humans were the best choice. As humans, they heard music for the first time and became eagles, so they could fly across the world and choose the right musicians to inhabit. Unfortunately, McCartney rejected the idea, and according to the rumours, he was disappointed that Asimov hadn't used any of the scraps of dialogue that he'd already written. Meanwhile, Asimov thought that McCartney couldn't recognise good stuff and moved on. And fact number five is that Asimov is believed to have edited or written more than 500 books and his books have been published in nine of the ten categories of the Dewey Decimal System. There we have it. There were five bookish facts about Isaac Asimov. Don't forget to let me know in the comments if you've got a request for a future episode. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe for more and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.